I will examine my behavior on a daily basis. It, you know, there's this little moment where I'm almost asleep. When I, there's this little kind of a space between sleep and awake. It's like a mail slot. And sometimes when I'm lying there and I'm almost asleep, I will go, boom, I'll get a little bit of a me male memory or a memory of, of, of something that I did that I haven't fixed, and it, boom, right away I go to wake. You know, something in the past that I did that was inappropriate, I hurt somebody, I broke something that needs to be fixed and all. So that will pull me right back to, and I know that I need to do something about it the, the next day. I, I will make right my wrongs wherever possible. I go back to that person that I need to make an amends to, and I love the word amend. The most important part of that word is? Mend. Mend, it's a chance to put, you know, it's a huge part of the, of the traditional recovery process is making amends. You can make it a part of your life. If you make that a part of your life on a daily basis, if you, know, if you when, when, when that occurrence happens, when you all of a sudden are looking at something that needs to be fixed, Fix it right away. It will give you instant relief. It's like dropping 30 pounds, which incidentally I did using these. You did, did I not? You did. You Tell did. me how much better I look. You, might, you look much better. Much better. Thank you. I, but the other thing about, about that step, that, that affirmation, I will make right my wrongs wherever possible. You can, go, you can do it retroactively, which is when you start, in, and, and, and people who are in recovery understand this because they go back and, and they say sorry to the people that they hurt when they might have not known what they were doing or when they were under the influence of substances. But we've all done that. We've all hurt people, either inadvertently, perhaps purposefully, sometimes for our own betterment, sometimes just out of our own negligence. And we carry that around. I like to call it being an emotional Sherpa. We carry I around all of this kind of emotional baggage from our past of the things we've done that we kind of that bother us, niggle us, worry us. And, and if you can go to those people and say, you know what, I'm sorry, I, I, I hurt, people will accept that. And it's off you. And if they don't accept it, you did your bit. And you, were in, and you, and you were, lived in right action. Those two, those two together, I will make right my wrongs wherever possible. I will examine my behavior on a daily basis. They're a continuing part of our lives. There's okay. something we use, you know. I think I actually I, I just did, did that. them backwards, didn't well, I? Well, I know, because I just did what I will make yeah. my wrongs well, wrongs possible. Watch this. This is recovery in action. Yeah. Tracy? Yes, Paul? I'm sorry that I screwed up her affirmations. Well, I, I didn't get them in the right order. Maybe you wouldn't have done that. Well, no, but <laughs> now you see, if she had accepted that in a loving fashion, she would be a total example of, of gratitude and trust. Of loving love and kindness. Yeah. yeah. I will examine. Incidentally, we have a podcast. If you want to see this, <laughs> go, go, we can't. Know, we got to get together. We have to I'll examine. All right, go. You. No, no. Oh, okay. I will live my life in love I'm and service, out gratitude, problem. and trust. Let, you know what? That's what it's about. I, if, if you know, I get up in the morning and I have a, a quick little prayer. I say, "Lead me where you need me." Lead me where you need me, because when I'm someplace where, where I'm needed, when I'm someplace where I can do some good. I, I don't feel in the way I feel, and, and opportunity seems to, to exist in that nest, in that act of service, in that act of love and service, I find something special for myself in my day. And I also think in examining your behavior on a daily basis, for me, how it works, is I just look back and, you know, where was I good? Where, where could I have been better? And how can I, and it's like, my, it's like a to-do list for the next day of right action. It's a to-do list for the next day of how I'm going to be a better person. And now I've started doing this thing when I walk home from work every day. I say, how many people have I helped today where I would get nothing back? How many random acts of kindness have I committed today that I can be proud of? That's sort of my, the way I calibrate. Sometimes it balances off if I yell to the people at Time Warner Cable. But it really does work. It's what have I done today? that's good, and also what have I done today that I'm not proud of, that I'm gonna hopefully now be reminded not to do tomorrow. And our last one, our time is running out, is. We just did it. No, we did not. I will live my life in love and service, gratitude, I thought we trust. just did that. No, we didn't. You're not paying any attention. <laughs> Why we are here. <laughs> Why we are here. I will live my life in love and service, gratitude, and trust. Yeah. Gratitude and trust. Take that over and I'll do that. Well, that's what I just, I, I was talking about. I get up in the morning and I say, lead me where you need me. That's the essence of living my life in gratitude, love and service. But that's gratitude not what you're grateful I stay for. grateful. I trace trust. And How? incidentally, if we can finish a thought, just give me this much. <laughs> I started to mention the fact that we have a podcast. One of the great things about, about where this whole road has taken us is now Tracy and I are doing a regular podcast for Podcast One. The, this week, our guest this week is... I will live my life in love and service and gratitude and trust. She absolutely refuses to do this. I refuse all. to do that. I know. Because we wanted to finish it off. 
Gratitude and trust. And then you can post gratitude and trust and love and service. Everyone on the stage says, if you don't give back, what does your life really mean? Empty. 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 It's what we do for others where we find ourselves. Judd Apatow was our second guest on our <laughs> podcast. If we... Chris Hardwick, the Nerdist, was our first one. I feel like I'm a better person. <laughs> she is a better person. <laughs> Incidentally, what we found and what we're able to do like this is the, the work is fun. And that's, that's probably the gift of, of living in gratitude and trust is that the work becomes the play. The play becomes the work. It's following your bliss. It's what Campbell said. And I think in our own way, we found it. Yeah, you need to find your notes. But <laughs> otherwise... But, but she has this my miniature little snark in the back of her closet that's always there. So that really, you know, what today is about is hopefully giving back and allowing you all the chance to give back because we've picked people to give back. This, is, this, this event and is part of what we want to do, which is take our message out and then be the recipients of other people's messages and let those go out to the world, which is and how we all live our lives. Everyone in this room in some way lives their life in love and service and gratitude and trust by coming on this stage, by being honest, by opening up who you really are and sharing. Everybody feels less alone because everyone in them has that little, little person too. Everyone inside has that little thing they are ashamed of. They do have to You're talking about me for a second. <laughs> and when you talk about that and when you open up the discussion and the dialogue and the conversation, we all feel less alone, and we all feel more connected, and we all feel like we're a community of people, and we're not islands of regret, anger, shame, mistake, and misfortune. Both we're all yeah. just fighting our way to get through and be better people. So thank you all for coming. Thank you, everybody. Thank, thank you, you Jeff. Sharing. Thank you. And thank you for being grateful yeah. and trusted. Excellent. All right. Thank you, Jeff.